Hey friends, it's Kara here. I am in Yukon this morning, present for a home inspection that's getting done on a property that one of my fellow realtors um, got under contract the other day. I'm in Yukon, um, probably about four minutes south of 40 um, West Side. So I wanted to show you guys this house. It's been beautifully redone. Its list price was 335. Uh, the contract prior actually busted on it, um, so Katrina's buyers swooped in as soon as it relisted and um, got it in the contract. So let me show you this beautiful space. I wanted to start outside just to show you guys um, this massive patio. This extension that was done. It's a great uh, outdoor entertaining space. Um, what's really neat is you still got two side yards. I'll just show you this one side. Um, and it's got like a little parking pad over there too. As you can see, it's uh, been painted. So I'm coming in from the back patio into the living room. That island right there was the cellar. That and the master bedroom. As you can see, big open concept. This house is a uh, three bed, two and a half bath with a three car, and it's just over 2,700 square feet. Okay guys, let me finish showing you um, this beautiful property. This is the master bedroom. You guys, this is huge. There's enough room in here for a king size bed and a sitting area. And here is all of those closets. One, two, three, and here's that walk-in. Nice good size. So no fighting over closet space in this house. Let me show you this beautifully Redone master bathroom. Lots of natural light too throughout this property. Hey guys, we're here with Steve. We're not live. <laughs> we're making a video um, with Steve Schlegel, and he is gonna scope floor vents. Check out what's going on on this property he's doing a home inspection on out here in Yukon. So why, tell me why would it be a good um, thing for, for buyers to include this out on to their home inspection? Well, so in this particular case, uh, this house was built in 1989. Um, the ductwork is in the slab and that's where our concern is one to age, so we're now about uh, 33 years old. It, in this case, it's galvanized steel, and simply it's it's uh, gonna be exposed to moisture that, that potentially could come from the foundation, and corrosion, offsetting of the joints, sand will enter into the ductwork. Um, it can end up being a health hazard in many cases if there's significant moisture intrusion. And so we wanna just make sure that the integrity of the ducts are good at this point. My goal is to make it into the plenum, which is the distribution box of the furnace unit, and see its condition. And then from there, we'll look at ductwork throughout the house so we can kind of get a good overall representation of different sides of the home. So that's what we're trying to do today. And this is really the only way we can do this. Um, a, uh, a home inspection is basically considered to be a visual, like here's a little bit of sand, just for sake of showing you. Uh, it's not a lot, but there's a little bit of intrusion there. We'll see some more as I come back out of it, but we're, uh, we should be getting real close to being into the plenum here. There we go. I'm guessing that's right in here. Get over that ledge. That's gonna, be, we'll come in from another angle. Sometimes we can't make it all the way in, uh, but this, I'm, I'm guessing based on where this is located here in the helm, So we'll go in from another area, but there is a little bit of minor sand. Uh, you can kind of see as I'm pulling out of there too, you can see a little bit of drag marks, but that took me you know, 30 some years. There we go, there's a little bit there. Again, that's very minor. Um, so that's 
There's another connection. We'll come at it there. And of course, we're looking to the registers here. Not a lot of debris, and, and that's good because there would be an accumulation of sand or what have you, uh, and or other corrosion in this area, especially if there was a lot of moisture. So this, this looks actually really clean for the age of this house. Minor corrosion in the in the register, but it's not any. I say that's commensurate with age, so it's not a, really any significant. Okay, guys. So we moved to the vent that is near the front door. There we actually kind of see the, the mm -hmm. other holes that come through it and I can see just the bottom of it you can kind of see there it's not it doesn't appear to have any real corrosion or actually looks pretty darn clean we can take a photo of that while we're in here so we can get, there we go I'm in it now yeah this is actually good so we're into it now you know, there's some minor corrosion which that can happen from condensation that occurs but you don't really see what I'd also see a lot of times would be water lines, mm -hmm. uh, that the water level has risen in there and that's when you know you've had a significant amount of moisture because this is the lowest point of the system. It's actually about six inches lower here than the ductwork, so you can get, or you know, a mm -hmm. few inches anyhow. And that looks nice and clean there. So that's a really good sign. That's one thing we want to note. Uh, the other thing is in my videos, I always like to reference them in the videos, I'll kind of show where we are just so we knew which video it was and that this was at their house. So the ducts have been scoped and now you guys, we're gonna go and scope that. We've got two clean, we've got a ni nice access to clean out. So that's really good in this case. We've got one here, which is typically gonna go inboard. This one here is going outbound, which is what we're doing today. We're scoping the sewage lateral line, which is effectively the drain line of the home from the house to where it connects to the city tap. I expect with the houses being behind us, it's pr the city connection is probably about where this fence line is. There's probably an easement here that they're running the sewage line down. So it should hopefully be pretty quick. Um, we don't know what the material is. This house was built in 1989, so they could have just put proper cleanouts in. It could still be old or clay or other things. We're not seeing a lot of trees around here, so I don't expect to see any roots or otherwise. Uh, however, it doesn't mean there wasn't a tree that was here in the past that may have caused damage. So um, we'll just kind of get it and start taking a look. One thing that is not present here that you would normally see on a newer home is a backflow preventer. So the on newer homes, there's a uh, backflow preventer that basically prevents water from entering into the home should the water level on the outside rise up too much. So let's see if we can make this turn here. There we go. Okay, right now we're gonna be, here we go, there's, this is good. This is looking good, so. Can you see? Yeah. And we'll be posting these on the YouTube channel for Schlegel Inspections. Um, we're giving the house a, what we call a home colonoscopy, essentially. So this is PVC. You can actually see a little bit of almost a purple here in the joints on this. Um, just based on what I'm observing here, I expect we're not going to make it more than about 30 feet before we hit a drop. You can see the water flow in there. I've got the water on in the inside of the home right at the moment. This allows us to see if it's building up or collecting anywhere. Right now, this is really looking good. It's uh, no solids, no buildup, not holding any water or other. Okay, this looks like it's starting to drop. There we go. And there's the city connection coming up here. We're, we don't normally go too far into this connection, but we wanna make sure we kinda get into it. 
that's the city line right there. So we call that the city drop. This is nice, clean. It's the way you want it to look.